They'd want us to party like the rock stars we are. Obliterated is all over on Netflix, making waves on the top charts with its unique, hilarious, yet edgy storytelling and twist that you just can't see coming. Everyone's talking about it, and if you're like me, having binged the first season and hungry for more, then you're probably itching to know if season two is happening. You're wondering, is it coming? How's the show doing? What's going to happen next? Well, you won't believe this. Keep watching because we've got all the answers to all those burning questions. And hey, we're not just guessing here because this is the kind of info you won't find just anywhere. We've got the inside scoop straight from the creators themselves. So stick around to the end of this video to catch all the exciting details on everything to know about Obliterated Season 2. Obliterated is at the top of the charts on Netflix. John Hurwitz, Hayden Schlossberg, and Josh Heald, the masterminds behind Obliterated, have struck gold again. In just a short time, from December 4th to December 10th, this series has skyrocketed to the top of the Netflix streaming charts. See, as of now, Obliterated is sitting pretty at the number one spot with a whopping 9 million views. And that's not all because it's racked up to 61.5 million hours viewed. Can you believe that? I mean, these digits are huge, and they're telling us one thing loud and clear. Viewers are hooked. People can't stop watching from the very first episode. And let me tell you, since its premiere on November 30th, 2023, Obliterated has been reeling people in, a total game-changer in the binge-watching world. And I know some of you might have heard or even watched the Cobra Kai series because the fans of that show might be the secret sauce behind Obliterated, hitting number one. It looks like they followed the creators over to this new series. Even though Obliterated got some mixed reviews at first, fans of Cobra Kai decided to give it a chance while waiting for Season 6. What is the reaction of critics and viewers to Obliterated Season 1? This crazy rise in viewership for Obliterated was really kind of surprising because when this action comedy first showed up, it got mixed reviews. We're talking about a 50% score from critics on Rotten Tomatoes, but the audience loves it more with a solid 76% score, and when it comes to IMDb, it's sitting at 6.6 .6 out of 10. You see, there's a huge split between what the critics think and what the viewers like you and me are saying. Some critics are calling it the worst show of 2023, but hold on, keep watching because the fans are totally flipping the script and calling it a masterpiece. This just goes to show that entertainment is super subjective, and hey, Everyone's got their own taste, right? The critics, though, are not holding back about their thoughts on Obliterated, and some are saying it's almost unwatchable. Big names like The Daily Telegraph and Variety have thrown some shade, criticizing the show for not having cool characters or a plot that makes sense. They're even questioning why this story got stretched out into an eight-part series. And the main issue that critics have is with how the show's done. They think the mix of action and comedy in Obliterated just isn't hitting the mark because they're looking for those big laughs and a story that makes sense, but according to them, it's just not there. However, viewers are absolutely loving it. They're all over social media, praising it for being super entertaining. One fan even said, This was so damn good! Perfect balance of humor, heartfelt moments, and action! I want more! Another fan joined in saying, I binged all the episodes over two days. It wasn't terrible. I think too many people expect grade-A shows slash movies slash spy series, but most are not. Obliterated delivers exactly what it is set out to be, an over-the-top goofy action slash comedy slash spy series. It means that viewers are really digging Obliterated for its unique mix of genres and the fun it brings. Even though the critics aren't on board, it looks like Obliterated has found its groove with the audience, and that's what really counts, right? So the big question now is, when is Obliterated Season 2 coming out? As much as we love this show, we're still biting our nails waiting for the green light on Season 2 because, as of now, Netflix has no official announcement yet, even though Obliterated is crushing it on Netflix. I know, I know, we all want it now. But that's just how Netflix rolls and they're all about the suspense. Now, you are asking why Netflix hasn't said yes just yet. Well, you know, they've got to look at this whole secret recipe for deciding, like, how much the show costs to make, and then they check out all kinds of viewing stats. We're talking about how many of us start watching, how many finish the whole series, and how much time we spend watching. There are a bunch of these factors that I will talk about later. For now, only time will tell if Netflix is still making up its mind, weighing all those fancy metrics and numbers. Show's creators are excited about Obliterated's future on Netflix. 
The masterminds, John Hurwitz, Hayden Schlossberg, again, Josh Heald, are buzzing with excitement about a potential second season. Now, John Hurwitz said in an interview with Inverse, If there's a demand for it, we're certainly going to be looking for that next party city where our team could get into mischief and have another adventure. And Hayden Schlossberg added more fuel to the fire and said, We conceived of it as a giant action movie, like Die Hard, that each season would have its own kind of adventure and location. He continued, With Obliterated, you're coming in for the concept. The hope is that you fall in love with these characters and would love to see them on another adventure because there's always a new threat out there. And there are other party cities in the world. Furthermore, given the fact that Obliterated has an impressive spot at number one on the global charts, it's looking more and more likely that we'll get a season two sooner than we think. On the other hand, What's on Netflix shared their thoughts on the show's performance, saying they're cautiously optimistic about a second season. With the success of Cobra Kai, Netflix's strong relationship with the showrunners and their eagerness to continue the story seem like good bets that Obliterated will return. The fans are absolutely loving it. Just like this fan exclaimed, I just finished binge-watching the show on Netflix? OMG! I need season 2 ASAP! Another viewer echoed the excitement, saying, I love this series. It was so funny and entertaining. It gets better and better, and it surprises you. Hope for a season two. How's the status of Obliterated on Netflix? Okay, in this part, we're using a bunch of sources for you to understand the performance of Obliterated series in streaming, including Netflix's own top 10 data, where every Tuesday, Netflix spills the beans on which shows are hitting it big. And we're keeping a close eye on Obliterated's progress week by week. Now, CVE, or Completed Viewing Equivalence, is where we take the total hours watched and divide it by the show's runtime. This gives us a neat way to compare Obliterated to other Netflix hits in 2023. In its first four days, Obliterated snagged a whopping 7 million equivalent completed views. That's beating shows like Survival of the Thickest, Unstable, Glamorous, and Free Ridge. But to give you an idea, we've got a color code. Green means that the show's renewed, and red means it's cancelled. Right now, Obliterated is kind of in the middle, like a suspenseful cliffhanger. Next up, we're looking at Flix Patrol, which keeps track of the daily top 10 charts from tons of countries. Obliterated started at number 4 but quickly jumped to number 1, and that's pretty impressive. The key here is to see how long it stays in those on the charts, plus we've got a heat map showing where the show is most popular. Finally, we're also checking out external demand for Obliterated using televisionstats.com which is responsible for looking at how the show's doing on Wikipedia, Reddit, torrenting, and more. So far, Obliterated is off to a good start, but still needs to catch up to some other big shows from 2023, like The Night Agent and FUBAR. And now you know how Obliterated has been doing since it was released. And we're keeping our eyes peeled on all these stats to see if Netflix gives us the green light for more seasons of Obliterated. What's the possible story of Obliterated Season 2? Now, we're on the edge of our seats waiting to hear more about the next chapter of this hit Netflix series. And as the buzz is getting louder because fans are super excited and you're probably wondering what kind of wild adventures are in store for our beloved characters. Speaking of fans, if you're a fan of The White Lotus, you know it's packed with laughs and drama and some seriously cool places. So what's the meaning of this? Well, the answer is it just might take us on a similar journey for season two because the creators compared Obliterated to the hugely popular HBO series The White Lotus. As Schlossberg said, it's the White Lotus of action comedies. By dropping some hints about the creators, we're gonna expect to take the show to places like Ibiza, Miami, Rio, and Cabo. But let's talk about Obliterated itself. The show is a thrill-packed adventure, and the reason why season one was made so incredible is because of Las Vegas, wherein the city's wild side was the glue that held everything together with its wild parties and crazy antics. And you won't believe this, keep watching because season two could be even wilder. As the creators hinted that our heroes might hit up another famous party city next season, saving the world while partying hard, all while keeping the naughty fun from season one. With all these hints, playful suggestions, and those nail-biting moments, it's clear the journey is far from over, and it looks like we're in for a treat with more outrageous humor and thrilling escapades that will keep us coming back for more.